Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 534. My name is Ajay Parmar and you're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar which has got now 530 plus videos on Excel, Excel, VBA, Access and Access VBA. And of course, um, recently we started the Outlook VBA as well. Now in this video now today, uh, we're going to talk about the one of the questions I received from one of my subscribers, Tom, and uh, he has uh, sent out the Excel file to me. And uh, so we actually going to talk about the how to create the serial numbers in the drop down but this is not a normal video I mean I really liked uh, the question and obviously uh, because I liked it, that's why I'm coming in front of you and going to share it with you you know so uh, before we go further uh, just a quick uh, introduction about the channel if you if you are watching the channel for the first time uh, this is the playlist sequence in front of you uh, we we have uh, dedicated this channel to people who want to learn Excel Excel VB access front part access VBA and recently we started as I said out of VBA as well right so just not getting the time to start the web designing but very soon we will start it so guys this is a playlist sequence please follow this playlist sequence because a lot of you come and say that there are so many videos on the channel so it's very difficult to to see you know how to how to basically start the learning so that's how this is the the, the sequence in front of you now I'm going to quickly read out uh, this uh, the email which Tom had forwarded me and uh, it's a fabulous thing for me it's very very you know uh, inspiring and I really want to thank you Tom if you're watching this video I'm sure you must be watching and uh, really it, it 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 means a lot it it really touched me and I'm very very happy that all of you are liking the video content so he has said that dear uh, dear AJ um, uh, dear Aj this is Tom and I'm I'm your big fan it it will be this respectful if I don't mention here that I'm growing in my office by taking your videos help so much information in your videos the best part is you love recording the content for you if I'm right it's more of a hobby for you and not just the YouTube competition I'm lucky that I found your channel a few months back and ever since it's like an addiction to me <laughs> well addiction is really really very powerful word for me because if you're getting addicted to the channel I couldn't demand for more you know it it I mean, uh, it says everything. Thank you so much. For, uh, thank you so much, Tom. These are really wonderful comments. Uh, in the process of learning, I found one question for my uh, colleague. He appeared for Excel interview and could not crack the question. I also have no clue about it. So reaching out to you. In my file, there are some IDs which have page information for which to which page number we want to create a drop down on those IDs. So if we select then the next drop down should show only the numbers between page uh, you know from page and to page right i watched your drop down videos but this question has a problem not only the dynamic drop uh, drop id needed but numbers should come between start and end if you see my file you will understand please assist everyone through your next video hungry for more learning best wishes again for your 5000 subs yes we are going to hit the 5000 subs mm, um, very soon uh, today uh, when i'm recording this video we are just left i think with 23 sub subs to cross this to reach to this milestone thank you so much for your love everybody who is watching this channel uh, we have this 500 and plus videos only because of you you keep on coming and you keep on asking me these fabulous questions hit million soon well yes uh, be there support me like the videos keep coming back with your comments emails and i keep on uploading and one day we will definitely hit this number thank you so much tom thank you indeed it means a lot to me now guys let me talk let me directly come to this because this is a long email actually and i did not understand the question but when i opened the file though this is not his file i just uh, did some changes here because he wanted me to do some changes not to show the data so what exactly we are doing here now this is a list first of all in front of you you have got the book names uh, excel vba dummy right and you have some information from which page to which page so let's say excel uh, the book information it has one to five pages this has 21 to 30 pages this has 41 to 60 pages now what we want to do is if you look at this this is your drop down right this is a drop down which is showing you all the books so if i select excel then what do you want to do you want to when i when i click here you want to mention the the number of the pages like this one two three four five you see the from the page and the two page this is what he was talking between so one to five you see that we got the one two five one two three four five right so this is the important thing now if i just go and change this to vba now look at this this 
is going to show you 21, 22, 23, 24 and so on. So this should stop at 30 guys. Wonderful, right? So this is something I have done and I'm going to tell you. Now if you go and again do this, you know, change this to dummy, you see that the number starts with 41, 41 to 60 because this is what uh, your table says. Now you can pause the video, you can give it a try, right? And come back and see that if this is how you have done it. If you find any other way, please share it right because i will then go and share it with everybody so now how we did that now in order to uh, do this because this is the advanced uh, the, the drop down uh, we will not be here you know we are not going to talk about how to create the drop downs so i hope you know the drop downs and i hope you know the function called the indirect if you do not know it you can go and watch the playlist excel indirect functions where i have uploaded many videos on the indirect starting from the scratch okay now guys the idea is the first the first thing which you need to do so i just I, I start from the scratch so i just go and copy this data over here okay so let's start from the scratch so this is your basically the book so the first thing which you will do obviously you're going to write here the book name so just write here book name okay and uh, to get the book name you just press alt d l or maybe you can go to the data and you can click on the data validation that's all up to you let's go and quickly create the list of the source so this is my source so I'm just gonna show it over here now once you have the you know the date uh, these uh, the books are coming over here now the next thing which you want to do is you want to create another drop down which should start showing the number of pages okay so here we will create the another drop down so I just write here the page information let's say okay now the point is how you will make sure that it should pick up the 1 to 5 you know between 1 to 5 and then 21 to 30. So for that there's something the adjustments the planning you know the, we, we will have to make a plan. Now what I do is I quickly go here and I write here exit. Make sure you write the same spellings and go right here VB and dummy. Now the first thing which I want to do here is uh, I just want to quickly you know create a formula here which if i drag it down it should show me one two three four five and then this should show me 21 22 23 24 and then dummy 41 42 43 44 right so let's so let me just reduce the list so i'm just going to make it 45 so that we don't have to drag it and i'm just going to make it let's say 27 okay okay now guys so what i'm doing because i want to start with the very first page so that page is going to come from here obviously this is the plan okay so you just do this first of all and similarly for the vba you do this and you do this now why i'm doing that obviously because in the drop down this is the starting point this is the range we, we are going to give in the drop down okay and also we want to make it dynamic right i i could write here 21 you know manually but I do not want because the reason is if let's say tomorrow you have a different pages numbers 25 to 27 then this should be taken care of automatically so if I just uh, let's say if I just somebody is right 71 then this should be 71 that is the point okay let me undo this so that is why I have linked these cells over here now the next thing which I want to do here is that now the beginning point you have done you have simply you know link these cells the next point which is important point is how to start now the series and how to make sure that the series should stop when you get this 5 for the excel when you get 27 for the vba and when you get 45 for the dummy how are you gonna do that so guys look at this now this is very interesting i say that if if the previous value okay this value for the excel right now we are talking about the only the excel if this previous value is greater than and equals to the end of the page okay then what do you mean by that well that means you have already reached to the last page so you don't want to show anything but what if it if it is less than what if it is less than the page then obviously in the previous value you should go and you know display the next page a12 plus 1 let me just go and press enter you see that guys i got the two here right now when you've got the two here so obviously i want to drag this down but before i drag it make sure you freeze the required part now this a12 uh, this c2 this is the comparison now for my excel range if i drag it down this end point end page is not going to change obviously right so this has to be frozen so i'm gonna put this c dollar two okay let's freeze that okay now what is the next thing now a12 should be obviously when i when i move it down it should be a13 a14 a15 that's how it should you know the comparison should happen with the every next value so this is my 
uh, a12 so uh, a12 plus one so i think uh, we are doing good here if i just go and drag this let me see that if i can make the series over here so i'm just going to drag it and release here now look at this guys you have created the pages one two three four five okay now if i just press f2 what is happening the comparison is happening with the two so basically we are seeing that if the two is if the two is greater than this or equals to this then there is no need to print the value but you know 2 is not greater than or equals to 5 so what happens it goes in the false in the false mode and it adds in the previous value which is a13 plus 1 so 2 plus 1 will make it 3 so same thing happens here now when you come to this why it is showing you the blank if you look at this what happens you said that if a16 which means this value the previous value you know it's doing the comparison with the previous value for every cell when you drag it down keeping this 5 as it is because we have frozen this c2 so now you know 5 is equals to 5 so obviously we are saying that if a16 is greater than equals to c12 which is true because here 5 is equals to 5 okay so your function goes here and stops and it gives you the blank okay now if you just going to make it changes to 6 you see that automatically the 6 is going to come if you just change this to 3 you see that 1 2 3 will come so this is very powerful right this is the backbone of this entire exercise guys this is very important now the same way you're gonna put the formula over here also so i just go and drag this over here okay and then quickly let's quickly you know do the referencing part let's quickly check the referencing part so obviously for my vba i have to change the reference to 27 right because now the 27 this c c2 it should be yours you know this basically the 27 because we are talking about the vba rest remains as it is so now you just going to drag it again so i go and drag it so now you have the 27 guys so if i just go and make this 22 you see that it's working very nice so again i go and drag this you can also make the formula from the scratch that's all up to you but that's not required you just need to change the page target so the same concept i'm applying everywhere okay now once you have done that guys in the background obviously this is something you will not show to your user you can give it a white font also like this or maybe you can hide them that's all up to you okay now once you have done this now let's go and you know use the indirect function okay now if you know the indirect function this will video will be very easy for you but still i like to explain you uh, later you can go and watch the indirect the basic videos now what happens guys uh because we have this excel we have this vba we have this dummy so what you can do is you can select the table like this and you can create the name managers the tables for this we call them the name ranges also so you go to the formula bar and you create from selection when you create from the selection make sure the top row should be selected nothing else because then what happens excel is going to create all these ranges for you okay so now i hit okay now look at this what happens when you go to the this side you know the dummy refers to this you see that this is the the top option with the top row which you have selected so now you have excel vb and dummy inserted as table so they are not now string if you just type in here excel you know you want to set you will find that excel as a range if you just want to write here vba you're going to find that you know the vba over here okay so these are the proper defined ranges if you just go to the formula tab and the name manager and if you just go and click here you see that dummy refers to this now this is something which is very important for you okay let me delete by the way the previous ones because this is something i created uh in the sheet one so i quickly go and you know delete the everything from the sheet one so okay so i got them deleted now these are all the ranges which we have created so these are all the tables basically right so if you if you say that equals to vba that means you're talking about b12 to p17 right now indirect is a function guys which which what happens so when you write indirect so basically what happens why we use it without going to the cell without going to that cell directly we create a cell reference and we go and use that cell reference indirectly we go there right now let's say i say that indirect go to this cell now in this cell i'm going g6 right so in the g6 what you have written you have written the vba now the question is is this vba a cell address or this is just a string well if it is a string you will get the error reference because indirect always works for the address now the question is is it an address or is it a text obviously it is an address it is actually a table why because you have just created that vba refers to range a12 to a b12 to b17 so when you press enter when you press uh, the control shift enter control shift enter you get the value here 21 this should be 
entered as an array so when i just go and press f9 over here to expand the formula you see that i'm getting my all values 31 22 and then space 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 right so what is happening basically now why i'm using the control shift enter well you don't have to worry about that part because that's not the motive of this video right you should be knowing the indirect as i said and to know the indirect if you don't do not have any clue about it please go and see the excel vba playlist indirect that's a very pretty awesome function you must know that function if you want to be good in excel because it's, it's a very very useful and i have uploaded a couple of videos there coming from you guys you know very very good uh, mis examples now what i will do is I, I will simply go and you know go in this data and you hit on this data validation and click here the list and once you click on the list now the list should come from where so here this is the important part so you write here indirect function right and you just go and select this cell which is g6 and close the bracket and that's it now what will happen in the g6 whatever i choose vba excel or dummy indirect will go there and you know vba is uh, is in itself a table excel in itself is a table dummy you know in itself is a table so that table will come in the form of the drop down because you are using the list over here so when i press ok now once i've selected vba you see that when i click here you get the number here 21 22 great if, if you just go and change this to maybe let's say 28 you see that the number will come automatically and this will be printed over here 21 22 23 24 25 26 right now 27 and 28 are not coming because if you remember when we given the ranges we selected the table like this right so that the extra buffer you have to give so for the time being i just make it 26 okay so once we have this information coming here now the next time when user chooses the excel now the you know the indirect function will now go in the again g6 and in the g6 indirect finds excel so what is excel refers to so immediately excel refers to this range you know that so that's the range which is you know which you will get it here so you see that i've got one two three four five six perfect amazing isn't it so that's a very good question so when you select the dummy you have the dummy sheet over here 41 42 43 right so guys this is how you can create this entire series right and um, thank you so much tom for your this wonderful question and i hope for people who are watching this video they'll definitely love it and this is going to take you to the new heights right this is a very very uh, i would say that you know i, I really uh, uh, enjoyed this uh, the trick you know because i, I thought for this uh, basically for one or two minutes and then i you know kind of came up with this plan so it also changed my view you know uh, uh, for the excel drop down feature because uh, generally we all use the drop downs in the ready-made form or maximum you know you just create the dynamic drop downs but you don't create like this you know that the, the for example one and six are there and you want to capture the between numbers that that was really good that was very cool so thank you so much for watching guys and um, please do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video now thank you bye bye